So today's video I'm going to uh, show you how to disassemble the lower end. It's a very easy process and the retrievable pulser manual actually um, goes through this as well in an appendix in great detail. Uh, so this video will be a supplement uh, to the end of that manual where they have pictures, O-rings, specs, everything you'd need to, to feel confident in serving these, servicing these. Um, the lower end is fairly easy, a couple precautions. There's a ceramic sleeve inside of the top end of this lower end. You'd want to be careful when clamping on it, um, not to over clamp and crush that sleeve, um, but you obviously can clamp on it tight enough to be able to grip it to, to work out some other components. Um, so the first thing I do is put it in the vise and remove the end cap. All O-rings are gonna be replaced, so you cut off all the O-rings and discard them. If it comes back from the field and there is a poppet tip on it, you're gonna to wanna to pull that poppet tip off. Uh, they're instructed to use blue Loctite. Some end users uh, utilize red Loctite, uh, in which case uh, a torch or some sort of a flame heat uh, is, is really the best uh, tool when, when breaking down that Loctite. The signal shaft has flats on it. So really what you can do is grab this signal shaft so, and then you just take a half inch driver breaker bar and you can stick it in the bottom of that poppet cap and then gently work that cap off. So, once you break it, it's pretty easy to then work the, uh, the cap off the rest of the way. Most poppets out there are a uh, two-part poppet cap and sleeve, just like this. So you've got the threaded poppet uh, cap and then the uh, poppet sleeve itself, which is carbide. We can put those off to the side. The next step would be to uh, remove this lower assembly, which contains a signal shaft. There are four poly packs that act as a wiper inside of the uh, ceramic sleeve and we want to be able to clean and kind of visually inspect the inside of that sleeve as well as pull out a very large spring clean and visually inspect that so once you grip it you'll need a larger wrench there's some flats on the bottom of the the um, lower end and if you can get it in the vise and then break that connection usually comes off. Uh, the longer this sits um, after going down hole, obviously the longer or the harder it's gonna be to service it with dried mud in there. Once you get it close, you're gonna be able to pull that off. Okay. The wear band will come off pretty easily over a, an O-ring. This wear band is what sits on the mule shoe itself. It acts as sort of a sacrificial piece, so there's a wear band on the uh, lower end, and then there's a similar mating piece on the mule shoe that also can be changed in the field. So this would be set aside. Okay, this is your signal shaft and helix. I'll come a little bit closer. You can see all these poly packs. Now there's a direction to those poly packs uh, and there's some grooves to help uh, get an O-ring pick underneath them. But those poly packs, there's one on the up hole side and it's flared upward. And then there's three on the down hole side, those are flared downward. It's very important to note that poly packs come with an O-ring inside of it. Um, when you replace those poly packs, you want them, you want to deload them. So you want to pull the O-ring out and discard that O-ring and simply use the poly packs without the o-ring on this. The manual then has you taking this cap off the signal shaft um, once you remove the poly packs. I don't typically do this. A word of caution here. This is a stainless steel cap on a stainless steel um, 
shaft. There's red Loctite on here. Oftentimes, these threads gall terribly. When they gall, um, usually the cap and the shaft become unusable. Uh, if you have to remove the cap, the best thing to do is to uh, heat it, uh, bring it up to temperature, break down that uh, red Loctite, and then break that cap off. But really, you can service it quite well here, um, cleaning out the ID of the signal shaft, replacing O-rings, and cleaning any mud between the helix and the signal shaft. This is the large spring. You'd want to check that for any sort of damage. Uh, and then you can visually inspect the inside of that. Um, and in fact, another word of caution here. That ceramic sleeve only goes about that far up. So you really can grip it above the ceramic sleeve to prevent any damage to that sleeve. That sleeve kind of sits on a shoulder in there. It's epoxied in. Um, our production team does that. So you'd want to inspect the idea of that, inspect the ceramic sleeve inside of there, and then put it back together, rebuild with all new O-rings, a new wear band if necessary. You would simply slide that on, insert the spring, The poppet cap um, is most likely going to be installed in the field after the uh, MWD hands decide the pop and Norfus configuration. So unless they're loading them in the shop, you can just leave the cap off or gently um, insert uh, uh, an empty cap.